Hi, I'm Ashley, and I just got my hands on the new ScanSnap Cloud functionality for my iX500. It's a simple and innovative way for me to scan all of my documents into my favorite cloud services without the need for a computer or mobile device. All I have to do is press the scan button on my scanner, and the data is automatically separated into documents, receipts, business cards, or photos, and sent directly to a variety of cloud services I have chosen. Getting started with ScanSnap Cloud is easy. You can set it up to your mobile device or your computer. The computer or mobile device is only required for the initial setup, but not required to scan into ScanSnap Cloud. I'm going to go ahead and set up ScanSnap Cloud using my computer and iX500. I will begin by launching the ScanSnap Cloud software. Since I'm new to ScanSnap Cloud and setting up for the first time, I'll simply click Create Account. The setup tool asks to ensure that the Wi-Fi switch on the back of my iX500 is turned on. Once that's done, I will connect my scanner to my computer and open the lid. If ScanSound Manager is running, I'll need to close that before I can continue. The setup tool will begin to identify the scanner and may prompt you to install an update to the scanner, which I had to do. It was really simple. I just needed to make sure I didn't turn off the scanner or the computer or disconnect the scanner. Now that the scanner update is done, the setup tool will check to see if my scanner is connected to my wireless network. Since I usually scan wirelessly to my computer, I didn't need to configure the scanner's Wi-Fi. I just clicked Next when I saw my wireless network name on the screen. After ScanSnap has checked the connection, I click Continue. Next. I create an account for ScanSnap Cloud and receive an email confirmation that I enter into the setup tool. The last step for setup is to determine the destinations for my scan content. I can choose to save my document type and send scans based on document types to specific cloud services, or simply send all of my documents to the same cloud service. Since I like keeping my documents in one place and my other content in different places, I choose the option to save by document type. So, for my documents, I chose to save them in Dropbox. For business cards, I chose Evernote. For receipts, I chose Google Drive. And for photos, I chose Google Photos. I can always change these settings at any time from my mobile device or computer. Next, I'll disconnect the USB and I'll see the scan button on my iX500 turn purple, indicating the scanner is connected to ScanSnap Cloud. Since I'm already familiar with using my ScanSnap, I went ahead and skipped the last few screens. And that's it! I'm ready to use ScanSnap Cloud. Pretty easy! Now with my computer completely off, I can simply drop my documents, receipts, business cards, and photos into the scanner. With the press of a scan button, my documents are quickly scanned, separated by document type, and sent to the cloud services I designated. Pretty cool. If I have the ScanSnap Cloud application on my mobile device, I get a notification once my documents have been scanned and processed. I can even launch the app to view the scan data and see where they have been sent. Now, if I ever want to scan to my computer, I simply control click on ScanSnap Manager and deselect ScanSnap Cloud, and the scan button will turn blue. Now, I can begin scanning to my computer. If I want to connect back to ScanSnap Cloud, I just control click on ScanSnap Manager and select ScanSnap Cloud. And the scan button will turn purple, indicating the scanner is connected to ScanSnap Cloud. ScanSnap Cloud is unique in its ability to scan directly into the cloud services of my choice without the need for a computer or mobile device. To make things even simpler, ScanSnap Cloud automatically identifies my scans and separates them into documents, receipts, business cards, and photos making organization a breeze. I highly recommend checking out ScanSnap Cloud.